This is WPSL Fort St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. <laughs> Views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, we've encouraged you all along to like and share them on your favorite social media and with all your friends and neighbors because it's about the science of caring. Careology, presented by Carebag and hosted by, let's see, this week it's either, it's either Miles McGrath or Roxy Brown or Zell. I think it's both. You're both it's here. It's both today. here. Tandem. We are, tandem. That's all it. Right. That's what it is. We are a duo. The dynamic duo. Yes. Heroes to the homeless. Wow. I like that. I really do. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Cliff Miles? I'm doing great. You're doing feeling, good? I'm feeling uh, amazed by all the things that are happening. Especially with this big golden box of chocolate that we just got. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Look at this. I know. That's it is absolutely amazing. Yes, it here. is. Unbelievable. I look, I look forward to this. Thank you, WPSL, Miss Carol and Mr. Greg. And Bruno's Absolutely. House of Chocolates. Bruno House of Chocolates. Oh, and uh, they're, they're broadcasting more than just uh, air, air on the airwaves. They're broadcasting dark chocolate around here. And I'll bet you chocolate. could go into Bruno's and ask for one of those WPSL bars, and they'll, they'll, they'll get one in there for you, I'm sure. I'm thinking about doing a care bag bar. Imagine that, a nice oh. circular one. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, look, that, that's on our list, 2024. I love it. I love it. But we want to just say good morning. Good morning, everyone. We are just happy to be here on this beautiful Monday morning. My name is Roxy. Miles McGrath. And we are your Carology host today, and we have a really fun show for you. But I just want to go over a few things with you. We are, for those of you who are listening constantly, we thank you. We thank you for going ahead and being avid listeners. For those that are just getting with us and finding out about us, thank you. Stay tuned. You're going to love us. Carology is a subsidiary of CareBag. And CareBag Incorporated is a nonprofit here on the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. And what we do is very simple. We go ahead and we provide proper hygiene to our homeless and our families that are feeling the hurt of this economy right now. So we don't do food, we do hygiene items. And I like to tell everyone, anything you used in your bathroom this morning, that is what we provide from ages zero to 100 and plus. And we do that through dignity. We also do with dignity, but we do that through our mobile shower units, our mobile hygiene pantry, and in our office. So we go to soup kitchens, our office is open on Thursdays, our shower units are located and right here in Fort Pierce on Avenue A on Saturday at the First Methodist Church, and then in Vero of 46 at the Salvation Army with the First Methodist Church of Vero, and at La Haya on Salerno Road in Martin County. And we do different pop-ups within Palm Beaches and different places with different churches. So if you'd like to find out any more or you'd like to participate, you can simply dial get this number get a pen i'm gonna say it a couple times 772-222-7399 and that's 772-222-7399 you can text us you can whatsapp us and you can go ahead and call us and we'll be happy to give you information or you can go to our website at givecarebag.com that will take you to our official website givecarebag.com and you can find out all our information what we have going on right now, Miles, is this Friday, we have our Secret Santa. What uh, items? Who is the Secret Santa for? Well, our Secret Santa we do every year. Every For the last three years, we've done it, and it has been absolutely amazing. But this year, we put a little twist to it. This year, instead of giving toys, because we have so many places that give toys for our kids here in our community, WPSL was one. They had it this weekend, and I heard it was phenomenal. We have the fire department, the police department. We are doing sneakers. So we're doing sneakers and shoes. Our families that have signed up gave us the sizes of our children, 
all school age children, 18 and under, and they've been vetted. We know that they are in need and they're coming to our office this Friday and we have our secret Santa. We have someone that is doing a beautiful Santa workshop this week in our office. Wow. So, you know, hearts unfold with Janelle. We know it's going to be fabulous and look beautiful. She's a great event planner. Oh my goodness. It just, I can't, I can't wait to see it. She's doing it on a day that I can't be there. So this should be spectacular. I won't get in her way and fatigue her but it's going to be beautiful for our so children you're going to be there for the event you just won't be there for the setup i won't be there for the setup uh, i i like to get that ooh, uh, surprise ooh, so you're going to get the surprise just yes. like the folks showing up there you go and it's going to be lovely our kids are going to come they're going to be able to take pictures with santa they get their gifts right there one of the caveats we have at care bag when we have major events for children the parents must have the children present because there's a lot going on but the children must be present that they can go ahead and they can enjoy the moment if they want to open their gifts they can so we're offering sneakers with underwear socks some will have pajamas some will have t-shirts but it's going to be to help their hygiene going into the new school year for 2024 we want to make sure that these children have what they need they are not separate from any other child they look you know what they have they look good they feel good so they can do good these are our children and we're starting here in St. Lucie County we do this every year and if you'd still like to participate please let us know we have a couple of sizes here that are still available if you'd like to come in just give us a call again at 772-222-7399 and we'll come and pick it up for you or we'll shop for you whichever makes you happy if you don't want the hustle and bustle and the traffic that's going on right now we'll be happy we have some little elves volunteers and we'll be happy to go out and take care of that for you so anything gonna, else you want to put some soul into the holidays <laughs> I like that. Soul into the holidays. Listen. You're we, going to lace it up. We're going to lace it up. Oh, we're going to keep going with this one, Miles. We're going to keep going with this one. But it's going to be a great, great show. So we want to go ahead and just say, you know, happy holidays to everyone. And we, I want to just talk about one thing before we get into our show. This holiday is very tough for a lot of individuals. And we want to put that number out, 988. If you are feeling low, if you are feeling that you are alone, remember you're not alone. You need someone to talk to. There's so many places that are open over the holidays. And uh, I sometimes I go ahead and I use the holidays as a time to sit back and just refresh. And just, I like being quiet. I'm so busy, so I use the holidays to kind of just refresh and rest. That's what I use it for, and I love it. But for those who don't have family, I don't have family here. My family is in other states. My family's abroad. So I really don't, I don't Excuse have me. family here. You got here. the care bag. I, I got the care bag family. The volunteers, family. the That's board. True. We're part of your family. That's true. We, Come I'm on talking now. about biological family because some people don't look at oh, that as oh. family. And your but church I have, family. I got a whole lot of family. Oh, no. But for people who don't have biological family and you feel alone that's what miles is talking about you have family at your workplace you have family with friends tell somebody you know what do you have an extra chair people are so afraid don't be afraid to say you know what i'm alone this year can i just come over you know whether it's for waff the best waffles in the world Whoa. with miles or just go and if you don't know or you don't want to go to someone find a church find somewhere you can sit with other people sometimes going to churches you see little elderly people they just want a conversation and you sit down and you learn their life story yes. you'll be surprised to who you sit beside who you're hearing that story from don't we don't want people alone because when you're alone that's when all those weird thoughts come into your head mm. and we don't want those weird thoughts coming we want you to know that you are loved you are precious and you are important so if you are alone this holiday season please 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 there's so many places call 211 and they can tell you all the places go on social media go on your city website there's so many places that are giving free dinners to individuals who don't have family or who are alone or just call a friend or just find movies that you can binge watch well, you can all weekend you can volunteer you can volunteer usually what i do 
is especially on thanksgiving i've never done it on christmas have, yes i have done it on christmas i volunteer with the saint lucy fire department and we go and i bring yeah, people I with remember, me yeah. yeah i bring people with me yeah. and we bag up food That's and right. we we go around we stand in line we get our food we pack it up let me tell you in the people it feels so good yes roxy does a lot but it feels so good that you can do something for someone else you're bagging up food that the fire department goes and different volunteers go and they go ahead and they give food to individuals who are homebound or can't get out or just or just don't have the means of preparing a nice meal and this meal is good you know what I'm telling you? So there are many things that you can do over the holiday season. And sometimes giving back makes you feel even better. Of course. So instead of sitting home moping, oh my goodness, I don't have anyone, find something to do. Make your life have that meaning for others. When you do something for others, you get that double blessing back. Yes. And that is the greatest part of it. And talk, I was trying to sit home, but I got baby girl with me this holiday this holiday season so i might just bring her out it won't be a long time because i stay out there for hours at the fire department but having her but just teaching her how to give back you, you know, mentioned the fire department what, what are they doing well we're gonna have to find out we're gonna look it up while we're here because i know every year i know they do it on thanksgiving that they go ahead and pack up nice meals and we're gonna find well before we leave here at 11 o'clock we're gonna tell you where you can go because they, I they've can been push known it to drop in on neighborhoods and and, uh, and just mobile get, home parks yeah, and things and like that. Yeah, and just give food away. And uh, actually, uh, usually uh, the, uh, last year I heard that Santa and the Grinch were traveling together. Went together on the, the tri truck. That's, That's unity right, right there. That, <laughs> I love now, it. There you go. You've got you, you you've got your positive aspect and your negative aspect oh, in a peaceful way. Everybody can. But understand. the Grinch changes. He, he changed, for some he, his reason, heart's he, now twice his, as big. No, yeah. his heart changes. Yeah. But yeah. there's so much to do. There's so many places to volunteer. There's so many people. You can go to a nursing home. You can go to so many places and just give a little cheer. Just tell someone hello. Have a good day. You'll be surprised what that does. And we want to encourage you to do that. And if you're feeling away, remember nine eight eight is your suicide prevention hotline you can call that and there will be somebody there to talk to if you're feeling this way now pick up the phone and call there are individuals there to help you to talk you through this and there is not a time limit it's confidential and the minute you do it someone is there for you and they are happy to help you so we want to put that out there our suicide rate is too high and as this country of so much, it's too high. And it comes from individuals just having no hope. And we want, it's not about the gifts you get. It's not about the big tree. It's not about that. What it's about, it's about going ahead. Like Miles said, having that unity, having that love and knowing that someone is there for you. So I just felt that we needed to talk a little bit about that because not everyone has vision. You see how I just slid into oh, that there? Oh, look at you. <laughs> and everyone has that vision. So oh. we want to bring that light to them that people can go ahead and just know someone is here for you. I'm telling you, you call someone that you know and say, I am alone this Christmas. I am alone this holiday. Do you mind if I come over? They're not going to tell you no. They're not going to tell you no. They're going to say if they're having something, they're going to say, come on. So I have already don't I'm telling everyone now, don't call me because I already have my homes sought out that I'm going to be going to. I have a house for bre Christmas breakfast and I have Christmas dinner being delivered. So I know that I'm not going to do anything. And I've already set myself, my, set my goal in place. So you've already made the calls. I've already made the calls. And they didn't <laughs> say no to you. They never say no to me. <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend, and for the la as long as I've been knowing her, every Christmas we come in our nice PJs. Nice. Get take a shower, put on really nice PJs, and everyone shows up in their PJs with your hygiene products. With you the take a, yes, you take a shower. That take a shower, <laughs> and we all show up, and she cooks the biggest breakfast. Anything you know you have for breakfast, oh, she man. has there. You even can get a. a You're making a me box hungry, go, Roxy. And it is just spectacular. You really don't see these people, and we had to stop it over COVID. So now she's bringing it back. And it was, I missed it last year, but I'm there this year. And it's just, it's just fun. You wake up and you just go and you have 
breakfast food, oh. brunch food, dinner food, and you just have a great time. You laugh, you you laugh. And even if you don't know someone, you just laugh. You create those and those uh, you get traditions. Those memory and that, the traditions. That, yeah, it becomes a tradition. Yeah. Well, my son was here from Canada. He went. He enjoyed it. You know. You just bring, and it doesn't matter who you bring. You just have a good time. I love it. Find a tradition. Find someone you can make a tradition with, and and you don't don't come empty-handed. You know, find a tra- bring apple juice, bring orange juice, bring something. It also helps the overall goal. Yeah. You see, creating fun memories. That's right. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. And creating a vision. I'm still gonna stick to that word. Creating a vision well, that's, for you. You know, Roxy <laughs> asked me to come up with a theme for this show today, and I said, you know, this time of year is a great time to think about your vision for the next year. And one way to do that is to do a vision board. And if you don't know what a vision board is, Roxy, do you know what a vision board is? It is because I did one last, I did one, I think last year, my first one I did last year. So how did, how did your process work out? Did you get some of those things happen on your vision board? Not everything, but some, I think this is what I'm going to say. When I always tell someone, when you speak it, it happens. So when you, I believe when you put something into the atmosphere and it's there that you can now visually see it, those things happen. So if you say negative, if you do negative, that's what happens. So having it there, it just, not everything has come, but the point is, I don't know how long it's going to take my vision to to multiply, to come into fruition, but you know, you have a goal. That's it. I think it's about having it's, a goal. It's, it's all that. And it's fun. But what the process is, is of a vision board is to, you know, take a piece of cardboard or a mm-hmm. piece of poster board and to find images that you're attracted to that you want to achieve in your life, whether it's a new home, maybe a relationship, or you want to travel somewhere, or you want your spiritual goals or whatever they are, you find a picture that represents those different mm-hmm. aspects and you arrange them. Get, get your glue stick out mm-hmm. and you arrange them like you could be from magazines you could find these images on the internet you print them out cut them out into the nice shapes and you arrange them into a collage on your vision board and you put that somewhere where you can see it every day as you walk mm-hmm. around your house so it constantly reminds you that your tracks you to achieving those things so the nice thing about it is the act of doing it you're already creating the first step of it, it's creating it you're getting those good feelings that you've already achieved it. So it's it's gonna bring that into your reality. So it's the first step, bringing something into your reality. And it's a cr- great creative process, puts you in a creative mindset. And then you get trained to be kind of the creator of your reality. You realize you're the creator of your reality. And not only that, not only being the creator of your reality, but taking that first step to wanting to do something positive, it it takes a lot. It takes a lot for someone to say, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And not only am I going to do this, you've already started to start to materialize. What do you want? Because there's some people who don't have vision. There's some people who really don't know what they wanna do. They wake up every morning, whether they have a job or they go to school, they they just move with the flow of the river. They, they don't they have no clue what they're going to do. That's why this is so powerful, because they mm-hmm. can see what they're attracted to. Yeah. Like, what what do they like as they're thumbing through a magazine or something it's like, oh, I really am attracted to that. It, it helps you helps you say you'll see a pattern like, oh, yeah. I'm attracted to these types of things. You know, for me, nature is important. So I, as I look through pictures I've taken throughout the year on my phone, I'm like, oh, there's a lot of nature pictures in there. Mm-hmm. So that's something that's important for me. So just it kind of like what notice what you're attracted to. And if you want more of that in your life, that's a good thing. But if you're seeing a negative pattern, like what's the opposite of that? So it could be what you're attracted to could be something that needs to change. And then you would go for the opposite of that. So mm-hmm. you find yourself in, you know, behaviors that aren't productive. What would be the opposite of that? That could be an, a way of doing it too. So it's it kind of works both. Yeah. Why do we humans have this incredible desire to, to, express ourselves through some form of art because a, a lot of times it's, it's folks that are having problems with that expression maybe something's holding them back whether it's music maybe it's oil painting or, or whatever but uh, there are different arts that uh, 
all folks, all of us, we're all creators. We're all creators as well. And we create. That's why we have such a desire to create. I agree with you. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm glad you said that. Um, lit, little, little Miss had a little party she went to this weekend. Mm-hmm. And it was a paint and sip because the weather was so bad. So it got moved inside. Genius move. And this is the first time she painted. She had a little canvas and she painted. Nice. And I brought some home. Um, her godmother had given her some paint a couple months ago. So I took it out the garage and I put it on there. And for two hours, a four-year-old sat at my dining table and canvas after canvas, she just wanted to paint and create. And I'm looking at this. It was like abstract art. Of course. But the way she put her colors in, but all of a sudden she got so in tune with her creative side. We found something that she loves to do. We ran out of canvas and she was so upset. I'm going to Hobby Lobby. She was so, <laughs> she, was so she was so upset. But the point is talking about your creative side. When you sit there and you're doing something and you are focused, everything else, every problem, every bill, every situation. Exactly just goes away and you are so in tune and focused with what you have to do. It, it, it brings out another side of you. Yes. People who love to sing when I sing and like I'm singing, I decide I want to sing in the house. I forget everything and I just bellow and I just, everything just goes away. Everyone has a different side. Miles, your wife is a beautiful professional painter. I mean, gorgeous to let you know. She goes into the zone. She goes, I have, I commissioned, I have two beautiful paintings in my home. Anyone comes in, they're like, whoa. I mean, I'm not talking about a scratch because I see you, I see Cliff looking at me. I mean, gorgeous paintings. And, but that is her thing. So, and when you, she's doing it and you see her work, you're like, how did you come up with it? We all have that creative creative something inside and this is where vision boards come in it brings out your creativity right i've seen some vision boards and i'm like i look at mine and i'm like oh i mean you've been doing this for years and i know but their creative side comes out and i love the fact that you say we have to have vision we have to have a purpose no we definitely have a vision, have a vision. A, but some people were not aware of it we're we were wondering why things keep happening in our life we do have that vision, but is it, have we clarified it? Are we yeah. aware of what we're attracting in our world? Mm-hmm. I'll use the example of Facebook for, for, okay. for a moment here. A lot of people don't realize when they're spouting off on Facebook, mm. negativity and things that are happening in their world on Facebook, you're just projecting out to the world more of what you want. Mm-hmm. And it comes Whoa. back to you. So it's exactly. So yeah. if you, if you, put something negative a negative comment not that we don't need feedback we all need feedback but it can be done in a positive way but if you're saying all these negative things are happening to me and you're projecting that out it's going to come back you're going to get more of that it's a mirror image right so that's one way as an example of what you're creating in your world why not create something that is really heartful meaningful to you something that's going to bring beauty in your world, something that's going to bring healing in your world, something that's going to heal your community, something that's going to bless your family instead of bringing it down. So So that's, that's what, that's what you can put on your, on your vision board. You can put those healthful, high vibrational type things. So you get more of that in your life. I want you to hold on. I want to ask you, what can we do to do that? But we're going to take a message from our sponsors because without them, we couldn't have this beautiful, amazing show. Thank you, sponsors. So we will be back. Treasure Coast Lexus, baby. That's right. And Hawk St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins. He's the man. Yes, growing it is. List. Growing With a growing list. list, a growing list. Rows of builders. If you want to be part of that list, contact us and we'll be happy to let you know how. Good and we'll be out. back after these messages. Hi, this is Roxy from Carology, and I just want to talk about volunteering. Volunteers don't necessarily have the time, but they have the heart. It takes courage and dedication to offer your time and skills to help out a cause that is a noble act that deserves recognition. Volunteering is a great way to make a difference in our community, and CareBag needs your help. We are looking for dedicated volunteers. So please get a pen, get a paper, and take down this number. It's 772-222-7399. 
call us and let us know you're interested. We are looking for volunteers for the evening hours between 5 and 8 p.m. to go to our soup kitchens with our new mobile hygiene pantry. I look forward to hearing from every one of you. And remember, volunteers don't necessarily have the time, but they have the heart. Thank you. Thinking of building your next home or renovating? Come see us at Groza Builders. We will create a home suited for your lifestyle. With years of experience means we give you a complete professional service from a dream to a concept. You will get the best results, best value, best quality is what you get from Groza Builders. Visit us at GrozaBuilders.com. You deserve better. You deserve Groza. Create custom business signage that customers can't miss or resist. Let Design a Sign in Port St. Lucie help you get the job done right. Over 80 years combined experience. Get it right the first time. Call 772-337-4027 and tell them Roxy said to call. Remember, call 772-337-4020. Design a Sign in Port St. Lucie. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie. And now, back to Careology, the science of caring, hosted by both the Super Two, the Super Crew, <laughs> Miles McGrath and Roxy Brown. Wow. Hello, hello. I love that. The Super, the super Duo. The, it's called the Super Duo. The super Duo, the Super Two, yeah, the Super Crew. I had to make it rhyme, you know. Got to make a rhyme. I just want to give a shout out to some of our sponsors here. A lot of people you hear, hear their commercials coming on. I know sometimes commercials come and we deviate and go places, but you know, Treasure Coast Lexus oh my has been unbelievable. Just has been unbelievable from the day four years now. From the day that we started, they have been on. And when I spoke with a member of the family, they like Roxy, we're coming back on for 2024. So we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin Hawk has been just amazing to us on so many levels and him wanting to come on he heard or he heard our show he's like roxy i want to be a part of this sometimes we don't even have to ask our sponsors come to us and say we love what you do we want to get the word out because when we talk on careology it is not always about care bag we have so many other nonprofits businesses that come on that do so much for the community. Sometimes they're not even doing anything for care bag, but they do for others. And that's what's it about. It's not about just care bag. It's a great location he has there too. It's really Which convenient. One? Hawk. Oh yeah. Many right. locations. Yeah, yeah. He's just amazing. Yeah. And we got we had a nice Chevy truck donated to us from Dyer a couple of years wow. ago. And design a sign. See how everybody comes together? Design a sign, grows a builders Allegheny, I'm, I'm missing somebody. There are four people on it. They went, came ahead and we. She did it. She went ahead and had it wrapped. You got AG pools. AG, right? a, no, AG and pools is not on this. They're on their mobile shower That's trailer. Right. But they, that truck looks absolutely amazing. So to let you know, we are a fleet of. You know how you see Amazon, UPS, everybody's the same color. We are now the same color straight across the board. And I got in the truck and All Roads Trucking with Groza Builders did some work on our truck and my husband was driving it. We had the trailer hitched to it. Miles, it feels so good. I mean, it's running. They really fixed it. They nice. fixed it and it, it works and it feels so good. These are the community partners we have. They just don't help care bag on a financial level. They help care bag in just so many other ways. And in turn, this goes back to our community. Yes. So we're just sharing the love. Each vehicle is almost like its own vision board. Bing, bingo there you, you know, go it has, I all, it. it has the uh, sponsors <laughs> on it yes. tell, tells the community what we do and it looks good and it's it's traveling around yeah. i mean it's it's an interesting metaphor really yeah. uh, because your vision board can is projected wherever you go yeah it's I just love like it. just like your branding on your uh, vehicle and my volunteers i was talking to one of my volunteers today and i said I don't know what to, I said, I love you so much. You, you have everything. I said, I don't know what to get you. Cause you know, when you want to get someone something, but you just run out and cash is not an option. I think that's an ins insult for some people. And, but I realized, I said, don't you like Greek food too? 
I said, me and my boy just went to a beautiful restaurant. I said, me and you get dressed up. Those are the things. You have so people, nice. you have volunteers in your lives. I have three women, Miss Patty, I have Candace, I have Becky. These are three constant women that come to our office, that go out with us, and they help our community. And I need to give them a shout out this morning. We love you. We appreciate you. And this oh, is Patty, day. This, oh, my goodness. Week after week, day after day. She called me early this morning. You know, we have a situation. She'll be embarrassed if you, because she, right. she doesn't she want doesn't, any credit. She's one of those listen, people that doesn't she, want any credit. She just does it because she guess knows what? it's right. My yeah. dad used to tell me something, yeah. Miles, and I know you would agree with me. Always give flowers while they can smell them and see them. She's not, if God forbid yeah, something happens, there's no sense me talking about her when she can't hear it. And as Miss Pat, when she gets upset, I can take the upset. I'm a big girl, but you give people their flowers. You give them their, 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 uh, their, I thank you. I love you. We appreciate you while they can hear it and they know it. So you can skip on the carnations for now. There you go. That's it, because she'll never know what she's point. getting. Good point. And good and, point. and you let people know. And it makes people it, it makes people feel valued and wanted and cared and loved. You know, you just can't presume just because they you know they I don't want her to oh, I know Roxy loves what I do. No, you need to hear it from Roxy's lips. We appreciate you and we love you. Yes. Cliff is here with me on Monday. Miles comes in when I can't. We appreciate you and we love you. You need to start telling people that. Right, you know, right back at you. And there you go. I love you know, that. And the, and the fact is, you know, the last interview I had, we talked about grieving because you just mm -hmm. don't know. You don't yeah. know what could happen. You so don't. if you have an opportunity to share your gratitude to somebody, to do share it. how you feel about them, mm -hmm. do it at that yeah. moment. There's a reason why you're feeling like you want to do it at that moment mm -hmm. because we hold back. Yeah. And what if that could have made the difference in their day? Yeah. What if that could have just lifted them up? A little hug yeah. or that thank you. You never know. You, you know, that could make that could be the difference for somebody that was you didn't know they were having a bad day. Mm -hmm. I reached out to someone uh, last week and you know, I just my little voice said, Why don't you check in with this person? Turns out they had a you know really devastating diagnosis. Well, had I not checked in, I wouldn't have never you know. wouldn't have known about it, you know. Mm -hmm. So Check in, check in with folks yeah. and your and people you know. Call them up yeah. just because just to say hello, yeah. just to check in with them. When you get that little tinge in your yeah. ear or the back of your neck, and you think about someone, I do that now. It, I've been doing that for a couple of years. If someone just comes across my pops mind pops out of yeah. nowhere, yes. I make a mental note of it, yes. and I try to before the end of the day. If I know they're at work, I'll send. If I know I can't call them, I'll send them a text. Hey, sweetie, I'm just thinking about you. Everything okay? And you will be surprised. Nine times out of 10 oh my god roxy so i'm so glad you called dot 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 is it's going amazing. on and i like when people do that with me because my friends do that with me and it's just you don't know how you open up someone's day that you're thinking about someone and if you do it it comes over on you like we're talking about what you what miles just said what you put into the ear that comes over yep. and you touched about facebook i want to touch about social media i've said it before social media is for entertainment individuals so if you're putting your business out there and it's negative only thing you're letting someone know how your life is going it's entertainment do not entertain others with your misery and what Lift is going up. on with your life positive affirmations yeah, yeah. you know care bag we put a lot on our facebook page please go and like our facebook page we put a lot on our facebook page on things that we do but what we try to do is put positive affirmations out there every single day i don't know what's coming out today but i can tell you it's positive i'm 1000 percent sure miles it is positive we want to encourage people because sometimes it's not about us Exactly. It's not so, about us. So when you're doing, if you wanted to take on this vision board pro project, get a group of people together. It's always fun to do it together. Everybody brings 10, 20 magazines with mm -hmm. them. You get in a group, you have fun together, and you share that vision with your friends for the year. Mm -hmm. And you have an event you've done together. You've built your community. You've shared your vision, mm -hmm. and you have ideas that you look around and some of the categories that um, you could put on your vision board could be your family it could be travel it could be income it could be so many different things that you can put on your vision board and you put that on there and you've created it together which is just magnifying the power of the of the project i think i think the uh, care bag uh, 
board should do that. I know, I love that. But I remember something, I put on my vision board, I wanted to travel. The traveling I did lately wasn't traveling I really wanted to do, but it was still traveling. I didn't put specifically right. what the traveling was for. But you did but, travel. But I did travel. So when I say travel, I mean, it entails a passport. That's my that's well, my then you got to be specific. You got to be. Yeah. When, when someone tells me you travel, going to New Jersey to me is not traveling. Well, you get New Jersey can be great. There's some yes, it's true. I there's live some in great New things there in New Jersey. Hey, they have some bakeries New in New Jersey that are the, <laughs> and it has that you're walk. not going to find anywhere else. There's that is so true. many good things. But for me, when I say traveling, the minute I say traveling, I think of passport. I think of you want to get airports. out of the United States. I want to get out of the United States. To me, that's traveling. But I think that's good. Our board should do it. I don't know who's listening. I know most likely Mark is it listening. Good. It would take, yeah, probably take a little and longer than our normal meetings. But if we're prepared, we could make yeah. it a fun, fun thing. And I think I put waffles, it, I'll put it out there. And I think waffles would that would be good, great too. So okay. if everyone keeps hearing me talk about waffles, I'm just gonna put it out there. Oh. Miles and his wife <laughs> makes the best waffles, homemade <laughs> from scratch that you can ever. I know uh, this is not what chirology is about, but chirology could be about anything. Okay. And let me tell you something. We pack up at his house and it is absolutely fabulous. Then after we're done, we go on a walk. Now, you know, when your belly's full, the last thing you want to do is walk. You want to just lay down, but we go on a nice nature walk if the weather permits. So this is what I talk about. Just have, this is my family. I have different groups of family and this is part of my family here. And we love it. I bring my family over. I'm, he'd tell you, I, Listen, Cliff, I bring members of my family over when I know I'm going to his house. You want to taste a good waffle? Come with me. Get ready. Let's get up and go. I just, I did make them this weekend and I tried uh, some gluten free flour. And it's great. It works good with the waffle recipe. It's like, it's, it actually tastes good. So it's amazing what you can do when you, when you try, when you experiment. And you got to put that on our vision board. Yeah. But we should, I'm going to encourage everyone. You get some friends together. And I'm going to talk, I have an event planner, so I'm going to, I know she might be listening. And I'm thinking of, we should do that for our clients at CareBag. We have X amount Allow of them to create available. Yeah, do it. Let's and do we, it. And for those that want vision, that want something more, you have to want something more out of your life. I think when you do that, you set the expectations of things you want to do. What are some things that, we, I've only done a vision board once. You sound like you are an expert at this. I've, I've got, there's several websites you can go to, but mm -hmm. you can, uh, the actions you want to take in your life, you can display your vision board to your friends to encourage mm -hmm. you and encourage them. You can practice the design of it, right? Mm -hmm. How you're going to lay it out. You can, um, it's going to allow them to get inspiration, right? When you share that and they're part of it and they're like, oh, look at that. Like, when I was laying out my vision board last year, I looked at the direction, the north, south, and east, west, and each direction represented something different in my life. So mm -hmm. where you're laying the different images out could be family could be in one quadrant, mm -hmm. travel could be in another quadrant, uh, income or personal finance could be in another quadrant, mm -hmm. your spiritual development could be in another quadrant, your community, your impact you want to make. And I kind of, I'm working on my one for 2024 and how I've laid it out is I put different things together, like I have different quadrants of relationships, places, mm -hmm. uh, my spiritual practice, health, my career, friendships, nature, community, impact. So what I'm then gonna do is those are the different categories. Now I'm gonna, as I, before I put everything together, I'm gonna look for different images, either on the internet or in magazines that relate to those different things mm -hmm. then i'm going to organize them on on the uh, poster board or on the cardboard and then i take the glue stick out and i glue them down and that's so that's my process your There's, process yeah. when you do this do you do this at the beginning of the year and see what what steps and what improvements and how you've journeyed through the year i know i do it this time of year okay so i'm starting kind of and also it's a good opportunity to think about the last year, what are some of the good things that happened to you in 2023? What, and I'll ask you, Roxy, give me three things that 
that you're really grateful for about 2023 that happened? 2023, I'm learning. I am very grateful for my grandbaby that is living with me. To me, that I think is number one. Um, I am grateful on the move that my mom took because that was a big step for her and she's happy. So I'm grateful for her being happy. When she's happy, she's healthy. So that's how I look at that. And I am grateful just for the steps that I have taken when I moved in the direction I'm moving because I have started to let go certain things and let other people come in and help me. To me, for anyone that knows me, oh, that's a big thing. So I'm grateful for having certain people in my life that allows me to so let like, go. So, like, so how does that feel when you went from, I need to control everything to learning how to let go? Oh, as a basket case. Before, <laughs> a, before, before that. No, it took, me, it took me a while. Even when I was doing it, I knew I had to do it, but it was very difficult, but I had to. Right. And I had to follow, there's a process. Exactly. And, and I followed the process. So that's a great, great example. When you're setting your goals or you're setting your vision for the coming year, you want to kind of feel what that's going to be like to, <laughs> to either achieve that. It digs into that feeling. And then you're kind of thinking about, you know, why is it that this is so meaningful to me? Mm -hmm. So when you can combine that feeling of I've already achieved it, how is that going to feel? What's the impact it's going to have on my life? And how that ties into the why is that important to me? That creates something inside of you that then magnifies those things into your world and the actions that you need to take are going to are going to come it's not how much work did you put into it it's you're creating that feeling of already achieving it that's going to then attract all the little steps that are going to come into place for you to follow those breadcrumbs to getting to that i'll give you an example and it's just it's un, it's an unbelievable story but i uh pulled off on the side of the road there's a tree in Stewart. It's a huge huge banyan tree and i thought okay this is a great place to sit quietly and think about what is it if i could pick an audacious goal to achieve this is the perfect place this is like it's quiet i don't know if you know the tree i'm talking about it's right near the hospital in Stewart, and there's this beautiful banyan tree i said you know i would like to have a sea airplane some crazy goal mm -hmm. right this is a true story. So right after that, I go have lunch at a cafe and there's an antique shop right near there. And I'm having a cup of coffee and I think I had like a muffin or something. And what does the guy put outside of the antique shop? He puts these model airplanes out. <laughs> he puts a sea airplane right, all right next to my table, like almost on my table. So it was like from the moment I asked yeah. for a sea airplane, the, I said, how much, how much is that? So I got my sea airplane. Right. Now, one day I hope to actually have a real, but that immediately That's your you, can't, you can't make that up. These things happen. Up. These, this, is, this is the level that you, this, you re, start realizing that you're creating your own reality. And it's, that is so, that, awesome. that's it, a realization. I mean, think about care back, care back, how it started from your daughter's love for helping other people and how this turned into this organization think of all the things that happened that were beyond your control but you had this vision for this and what it would be and how it's going to serve the community and how it's how it's grown it's humble it's amazing it's so incredible and if you tried to organize it and say all these events in place you there's no in a million years you couldn't all the little serendipitous things that happened all the people you met and all the relationships you've had and the impact you couldn't duplicate it if you try no. to put it on a a plan with a ruler and everything mm -hmm. like that it just it wouldn't fit on a vision board no. <laughs> yeah it would it wouldn't fit on a vision board and yeah. that's it and you said something that i just want to piggyback on when you have this vision and when you're putting it out there people you have to realize that you can't have the negativity. And when you do it, I found out certain things you want to do and accomplish, you can't share. Certain people are certain, going to bring yeah, you down. Yeah, you can't You have to share, share it with the right yes. people. And you have to, you know the right people. Right. You can't tell Miss Nancy Nancy, 
what's going to happen and you know that she's going to negative knock, nancy negative nancy. <laughs> <laughs> nancy nancy there's some positive nancy yeah, you, yeah you, you can't tell miss negative nancy that knowing that she is going to rain on your parade and it's important and sometimes some things are just good to keep to yourself that's true you know a grandbaby says that Gigi, can we keep it to ourselves yes we can wow she yeah, said that she says that to me if wow. something happens she's like can you keep it to yourself she doesn't want grandpa mommy or daddy to know oh she, don't tell daddy yeah don't, just keep it to yourself but the point is she's grooming herself already and i let her have that thinking because you already know some thoughts you have are between you and god that's it right and for the minute you put it out in the atmosphere sometimes you got these negative and and they just come and boom just i'll give you 20 reasons why it won't work yeah a hundred but more. but and it does there's other people in your life that want to encourage you that want to get on the mm-hmm. team with you you know how many that's... people told us told me that care bag the mobile showers couldn't work Right here, so many people told us. I shared it with my so now, many people. Now you got told two. Me, now you got two, and there'll yeah. probably be before. I bet you by twenty twenty four there'll be two more. But you now know, people without experience have so much yeah, input. So to much input, on. you know. And no, that's never going to work. We don't need that here. We don't have so many people. And you know what? I don't. I really care what people say. So for me, that's not a problem. You can say it. It doesn't bother me. When you have a goal and when you have it in your fiber. And you know yes. that is yes. your passion of what you want to do. That's what you ignite. Yeah. You you let that fire just burn and let it burn out of control. Because what it does when it burns out of control, it just burns everybody away. Anybody that comes, you just poof them out. You know, it's in, it. it becomes then it becomes an inspiration to yes. the doubters. Mm-hmm. They're like, wow, you know, I did doubt that. Yeah. And look, look mm-hmm. what happened. So many people say and that. And that, that then it's it's good for them. Yeah. So then it focuses them to look at their. What ignite. are they hold? What are they holding back on? Yeah, ignite their passion. And that's what that's where that ego comes in, uh, that negative thing comes in and tries to distract us and say mm-hmm. we can't do it, but it gets put to, in the corner where it belongs mm-hmm. when it sees what's possible. Yes. And that's when you create that vision. You're like, this can happen, and you share it with your friends. You see what's happening with them. It ignites and it becomes something beyond what you thought was even possible. And, and that's the first step. Is kind of what am I attracted to? What is the most benevolent mm-hmm. thing that can happen in my world? And all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is this is something. This is something where I want to go. This is the direction. And that's why when you said not everything happened on my vision board, because, you know, sometimes what we think is best for us is not. Is not. So mm-hmm. we have to leave room for the other things and the growth. that were beyond what we thought, mm-hmm. what we wanted. We're like, gosh, but we put a little starter pack there. This is mm-hmm. the direction. At least I'm heading in that direction. Yes. I mean, you look at the yellow brick road, Dorothy wanted to get back to Kansas, but she had to go through. <laughs> <laughs> she had to meet all of her friends along the way. And she, she, if she had just gone back right away, she wouldn't have grown. She'd've, she she wouldn't have grown all those things that she went through. She had to face down the witch and bring, she had to get that witch's broom That's it. and wipe that stuff away. So we're all kind of on that journey. And, you know, we're not meant to have it easy all the time. Yeah. We have to overcome what some things and we learn and grow. And I'm going to throw a Dorothy one at you, too. And all those negative Nancy people carry a bucket of water so we could <laughs> just, you could just get rid of them because we have them in our lives. And not only that, I've been that now, I've been are. that person. We know who they are. That's the funny thing. Yeah. You know, when you tell this person what they're going to do, what they're going to say, that they're going to just knock out. I have conversations with individuals, but the people I have conversations with, I want to throw something at you. Could you tell me the, the, the cons? I already know the pros of this. Can you tell me the cons of this? Because sometimes you want to get positive feedback. You know, I might think that those are different. But when you tell someone a dream and a goal you have, and you know they're just going to pour, they're just going to knock it down. Have that bucket of water to just have them melt away. The, the best blessing we can offer anybody is to see them at their best mm-hmm. when the outside world is showing them at their worst. Mm. Can we see that person at their best, even in their most negative moment that is being represented? That's the blessing we can do. And that comes from our own vision. And that's something we can all do, but we have to see it in ourselves too. That's the problem. We sometimes have that negative vision for ourselves. We're like, I'm not enough. I can't do it. There's your vision board concept where you can create all these positive things and see yourself in your truer form because you know god did not make any junk 
No, he didn't. And even though sometimes no, it looks on, on the, on on no. the outside, it doesn't look, yeah. it doesn't look We're like the, ones that do that, right? like yeah, the we, diamonds, uh, you yeah. know, in Hawk's store, but we are all those precious creations. Mm. And, and like a diamond, we have to go under pressure to shine. Sometimes we have, we have to, to go under pressure. We sometimes to, we need to be rubbed up against yeah. things. That Without we, the pressure, the diamond does not exist as a brilliant object. That's, that's it. Pressure. We have that's to have it. Cause. Sometimes it has to be that's that way. It. So but we can lift each other up. We can hold each other. We can hold somebody's vision for mm -hmm. them. We can be part of that. And that's, if you do it in a group, then it becomes, it magnifies itself. That's it. Yeah. I love it. You know what? This was, I, I love this because we have, um, how many more weeks we have before the year is over? Two more weeks? We need to ask Benet how many days till Christmas. Oh, she definitely knows. <laughs> I think we're about a week away from Christmas. We're a week away. There's exactly a week between Christmas and New Year's. And New Year's. You know, and coming down to the end of this week, coming down to the end of the year, this is a good way to think. And you know what? It doesn't take, you don't have to have 20, 30 people to do this. No. You can have two, three, four, just people, and you just do it, and you have a goal. And, and having more people means you can share and you can bounce ideas off of so many encouraging you get together do that with friends do that with people but um we just want to give you know positive outlooks on life and let you know you are worth it you are important and you are loved so we want to keep that with you and like i tell everyone in this time and day and age that we're living in it does not cost anything but to be kind um this is roxy miles mcgrath and with our beautiful, lovely engineer, Cliff. we just want to say thank you. And we will be back next week. And we want to ask everyone to have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your week. The week has just started. Make something positive out of it. And this is Roxy on Kerology. And have a beautiful day with your host, Miles. So have a good day, everyone. All righty. You've thank been listening you. to Kerology, the science of caring, right here weekly. WPSL Port St. Lucie, the top of the Treasure Coast and webcaster to the world.